called 25 or 6 to 4. Thank you. 
Looks for mainly cloudy skies tonight with a couple of isolated showers and storms. We'll see a low temperature of 71 degrees. With winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, a couple of isolated storms early in the day. Then skies become clear with a high temperature of 88 degrees. And winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Saturday, a chance of storms with a high temperature of 84. Sunday, we'll see a chance of storms once again with a high of 84 degrees. Monday, sunshine with a high temperature of 81 degrees. That's your latest forecast for WOCL Radio. I'm your own, just Ray Miller. you'll ever do Two can be as bad as one It's the loneliest number since the number one
And you're listening to your sports station, WOCO Stereo FM. David here. And we have a bit of a rain delay, about 7.15, 7.20. And we'll get the game going for the Green Bay Bullfrogs here on WOCO Stereo FM. for mainly cloudy skies tonight with a couple of isolated showers and storms. We'll see a low temperature of 71 degrees with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, a couple of isolated storms early in the day, then skies become clear with a high temperature of 88 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Saturday, a chance of storms with a high temperature of 84. Sunday, we'll see a chance of storms once again with a high of 84 degrees. Monday, sunshine with a high temperature of 81 degrees. That's your latest forecast for WOCO Radio. I'm meteorologist Ray Miller. 40 seconds. Time now for Green Bay Bullfrogs Baseball on WOCO Stereo FM. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. Today's game being brought to you by Nicolay National Bank, Brew Pub Pizza, Edvest, Triangle Distribution Miller. Let's head down to the field with your announcer, Brandon Morgan. Attention business owners, it's tough enough to make a buck in today's competitive world, but if you're sending Washington and Madison more income tax money than you put in your own pocket, you're not going to be long for this world. Stop complaining and do something about it. Things don't just magically change by themselves. The tax code is full of legit loopholes and planning ideas for all size business operations, but you need to team up with a proactive CPA at Islandfield, Scantron and Anderson to put them into action. Call 715-735-0583 before it's too late. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Vinyl flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. Who do I play high school softball for? I play for my mom and dad who've never missed a game. I play for the smell of my leather glove, the sound of infield chatter, and that incredible feel of the ball jumping off my bat. I play for sacrifice bunts and sacrifice flies because they've taught me what it means to be a teammate. Whether they're playing for their teammates, their classmates, or their community, 
high school student athletes in Wisconsin learn important lessons they'll use for the rest of their lives, like respect for the rules, time management skills, and the value of hard work and sacrifice. I play high school softball for my friends who decorate my locker before every big game. That's who I play for. Play for keeps. Play for fun. Play on. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. And welcome back to Bullfrogs Baseball. I'm Brandon Morgan here for another Northwoods League action, this time interdivisional. North versus South as your Bullfrogs take on the Duluth Huskies. We had a three-day break for All-Star Week. Monday, the home run derby. The South team took... Home the championship. Marty Pakina of the Kenosha Kingfish won the whole thing. He had six home runs in the Homer Derby at the Harbor. Bullfrogs in the All-Star game. I mean, excuse me, in the Homer Derby, Jonah Davis hit zero home runs. Larry Eustace only hit one. It was tough for the lefties, though. Hitting off that Harbor, that win, was blowing straight into right from right and then swirling into left. So righties had a really easy... Uh, Time hitting home runs while uh, lefties struggled. In the All-Star game, the North Division took the victory, 9-5. to five. Marcus Shoemaker started in left field for the South Division, went 1-2. for two. He was later replaced by Laren Eustace. Eustace went 0-3 on the day. Luke Lynn pitched the third, he went 1-2-3. And then Jeremy Graff came in the eighth. He pitched to one batter, recorded an out. And that's how your uh, Bullfrogs did over the All-Star break, and now we are back to uh, finish up this home stretch of this 2016 Northwoods League season. 24 games remain. Your Bullfrogs currently sit 6-6 six and six in the South Division. That's three games back. Rockford Rivets, who are leading with a 9-3 and three record. And we are going to be starting here, folks. If you weren't in the Green Bay area, you might not. We got hit by a crazy thunderstorm this morning. So the fact that this field is even playable is a testament of, to these great group of interns and full-time staff that we were working on the field all day long. And Andrew Mahoney with the first pitch. It's going to be a strike on the outside corner. That's to Daniel Amaral. So we're here with some crazy rain this morning, about from like 8 a.m. to noon. It was raining from 8 to like 10.30. It was absolutely pouring. Fuel was underwater. Deal one, that's going to be up. It got really, it got sunny out. It went, it was like 94 degrees. We were working on the field all day. Uh, about an hour and a half before game time, another little rain spell comes in. The one one pitch just misses outside. Put the tarp on. Probably lasted about 45 minutes. Pull the tarp off. Got the field ready. That's why we have a little bit of a late start. 7:15, with that kind of that rain that kind of sprung up on us unexpectedly. 2-1 pitch, just misses. So now three and one to Amaral. So we're excited to be back. We were a little nervous. We're like three days off. We we're all going crazy, especially the players. They wanted to get back into. Uh, back playing baseball, the ones that didn't participate in the All-Star game. That 3-1 pitch is in there for a strike. I know uh, Skip Handelsman and the coaching staff are also uh, antsy to get back on the field, so we were a little nervous with the rain, but we are glad that it stopped and there should be no rain for the rest of the, the evening. 3-2 pitch is going to be weekly hit to Parker Koss. He's going to charge field, throw on the run, and get Emerald for the first out. Here tonight, Andrew Mahoney making his third start of the season. His last start was a, was a nice one. He picked up the victory over the Wisconsin Woodchucks. Went five innings, only allowed a run. 
So he's looking to build off that strong start. As Austin Bernard, the catcher, is going to step into the box. His first pitch swinging right at Koss. Koss fields, throws, and gets Bernard. Your Bullfrogs defensively at first base, Austin Clemens over at second base, Matt Hoyd. Third base, Quincy Naporti. Shortstop, who's already made two plays today, Parker Koss. Left field, Jonah Davis. Center field, Laren Eustace. Right field, Marcus Shoemaker. Behind the plate, Brian Lees. And again on the mound, on Andrew Mahoney. That's going to be a cutter, Hanford. First pitch in there for a strike. Bullfrogs will play a two-game series against this Duluth Huskies. This is their other North Divisional matchup. They, they dropped three or four against Eau Claire in the first half. They play two here, and then they will play. They will travel to Duluth next week and play the Huskies. Uh, over there to finish off that four game series against a North Divisional opponent. Mahoney now ahead one and two to Carter Hanford. Hanford playing third base today. From Jefferson College. That's a one two, it's an off speed pitch and that's gonna miss away two and two on the season. Mahoney. Okay, this is his third start. He's thrown six to the third innings, ten hits, six runs, three walks, four strikeouts, a one and one record, 8.85 ERA. 2 2 pitch is going to be hit high in the sky. Shallow right field. Shoemaker comes on and makes the catch. So Mahoney works a 1 2 3 inning here in the top of the first. Bullfrogs baseball. Northwoods League TV and WOCO. This is Kirsten, General Manager of the Pestigo and Ocano Pharmacies. Do you feel like you're paying too much for your medications? Stop in and see our pharmacist about our cost minimization program. We would love to save you some money. Pestigo and Ocano Pharmacies, our family helping your family. Are you looking for a checking account that's right for you? Let the Stevenson National Bank and Trust help you find the right one. All you have to do is let us know how you like to bank, and we'll show you the solution that works best for you. Whether you need simple checking or an account loaded with features, it's all right here at Stevenson National Bank and Trust. I'm Beth Larson at the O'Connell office. Stop in anytime at 101 Bray Lake Way, and we'll get started. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocado Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits, we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the Pig in O'Connell Falls. Welcome back, Bullfrog fans. It's Brandon Morgan here. Fans, did you know of a nonprofit that needs awareness to be raised? Visit GreenBayBullfrogs.com or stop in during the regular business hours, Monday through Friday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 315 South Barrett Street to sign up to be the Nicolay National Bank Community Connection. The Duluth Huskies come in with a 4 and 8 record. In the second half, they're currently sitting at the bottom of the North Division, tied with the uh, Thunder Bay Border Cats. They sit four games back of the divisional leaders, Wilmer Stingers.
on the mound for the Huskies. It's going to be Go Corey Gaconi. Gaconi, a right-handed pitcher, 6'4", 225. He's a freshman out of southeastern Louisiana. This will be his fifth start of the season. In 28 innings, he's given up 17 runs, 46 hits. First pitch in the four strike. Nine walks, 13 strikeouts, has a 2-2 two and two record, 5.40 ERA. The one to Austin Clemens is going to be a strike. Defensively, for the Huskies over at first. To be number 33, Justin Ambrosino. As the two pitch misses a little up. At second base, number two, Brendan McClary. Third base, number 36, Carter Hanford. At shortstop 23, Liam Sabino, as a ground ball is hit to Hanford. He's going to throw it to first. And the first baseman is going to drop it. That's number 33, Ambrosino. He drops the baseball. It's going to be an error on the first baseman. In left field. It's going to be number four, Reed Long, out in center. Number 25, Daniel Emeral. And in right field, number 35, Jake Prees. A butt attempt pulled back by Parker Koss. So Austin Clemens reaches an error by the first baseman to just drop the baseball from the throw from Hanford. See if Parker Koss tries to bunt. He's going to swing. It looks like it was a hit and run. Fouled off a tough breaking ball. So Clemens is going to make his way back to first. Skip Handelsman loves using that hit and run. It's a really good play, especially when you have a hitter that can uh, handle the bat like Parker Koss. It would have put the ball really where you want it to. Becomes a, uh, a very successful play. A chance to get the defense out of position. As a pickoff attempt, close one, but Clemens is safe. Good move by Gaconi. It's a full slate of Northwoods League action today. All 18 teams playing. Another pickoff attempt. Got to keep... Club is close. He has some speed over there at first. Nine stolen bases on the season with a Louisville infielder. Breaking ball. That misses down. So two and one to Parker Cross. Parker Cross in his last game in a bullfrog uniform reached base. Four times. Three walks and reached on an air. That one's going to be inside three and one now to Parker Koss. Koss had a nice few days off. He's mentioning just a good chance to relax and uh, as a ground ball is going to be hit past the third base. Bag, foul. So it's a good time to relax and uh, Rest up a little bit. Those three days are going to be huge, especially when the Bullfrogs only had one day off. Really, that whole first half. So it was nice for them, so some of the, for some of the guys to get some extra rest. As Clemens is going to run, and that ball is fouled once again as Parker Costa's bat breaks. Broken bat, so Cost is going to have to get a new one. He didn't realize it broke. He was actually heading back towards the batter's box, and then he realized when he put his top hand on the baseball that that bat kind of uh, is missing a piece. What's great about when we break bat, Parker Cost will get a chance to sign that bat, and a lucky fan will uh, get a chance to uh, receive a nice... Uh, Game used bat via Park Koss.
Another pickoff, safe, getting back, standing up is Clemens. Runner goes, it's going to be a ground ball. And the infield fielded by the shortstop Sabino, but Parker Koss just a little too quick. That's going to be a base hit for Parker Koss. Ball hit a really slow, and especially with that wet grass, the ball just died, and Sabino just wasn't able to get there in time. So it's going to be an infield single. At Southeastern Louisiana, Gucconi, through nine innings, allowed three runs and 11 hits at seven strikeouts. This is a 2.89 ERA in his freshman campaign. So he's looking to use this experience that he has in the Northwoods League and all the innings he's getting and try to uh, transfer that to the, his sophomore season for the Lions. Shoemaker's going to square, pull back, going to be a ball up. We're not the only game that got hit by rain. The Kalamazoo Growlers and the Madison Mallards are currently in a rain delay. That rain, I Pretty sure it came from us. Uh, Shoemaker's going to pull a bump back. He's going to swing, throw it. To, uh, and the pitcher, Gucconi, decides to just go to first with it. So essentially, it's going to act like a sacrifice five, uh, sacrifice bunt, but it's going to go down as a 1-3 put out. Uh, that's going to bring up Quincy Naporti in an early RBI spot for your Bullfrogs. Looking to score early against this Husky team. And the fellow pitch is hit on the ground to the first baseman, Ambrosino, but dropped by the pitcher, Gucconi. So another error for the Huskies. They're just having some trouble uh, fielding some baseballs today. But Clemens is going to come around and score. And uh, the Bullfrogs will take a 1-0 lead here in the first. It's going to be an RBI for Naporti. He's going to reach on an error. E1. Koss is going to move to third for so the Bullfrogs. One out. Runner in scoring position, Jonah Davis, who represented the Bullfrogs in the home run derby. Steps to the plate. Again, he didn't hit any, uh, but I was talking to uh, assistant coach Buster Schneider. He was there throwing uh, BP to Davis and Eustace. And he mentioned that that win was killer to lefties. All lefties struggled who were uh, participating with that win. It was like a win that was basically coming into the harbor and then curving left and heading out towards left field. So it made it easy for uh, righties, but tough for lefties. Foul ball, sponsored by Tri-City Glass and Door. For all your glass and door needs, call 920-468-7820. 2 1 pitch is going to be on the outside corner for a strike 2 and 2 to Davis. You got Laren Eustace on deck. It's 2 2. Swing and a miss. So Jonah Davis strikes out. Route number two. Runners remain at first and third with Laren Eustace stepping to the plate. So 
So Eustace represented the Bullfrogs in the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game, so he had himself a busy All-Star week. Home Run Derby again, he had one. As he's going to try to lay down a drag bunt, but he misses. We strike one. It won, and he said the one, I was talking to him, and he said that one he crushed. And he said it barely went out. That's how strong that win was. The one, that one is a little up, one and one. In the, in the All-Star game, Eustace uh, replaced Marcus Shoemaker in the outfield. Uh, he went 0 for 3, but made a couple putouts in the left field to so play a nice defensive left field, something he's not used to. In Green Bay, he only plays center, as he is one of the best defensive outfielders in the Northwoods League. He has uh, the tremendous ability to track down fly balls, and he uses his athleticism and speed to catch down balls that you think coming off the bat are going to be falling for a hit or extra bases, and he flies out of nowhere and makes the catch. And so it's 2-2 two -two after that foul ball. Now Portis at first. Got Parker Koss at third. Bullfrogs have already scored a run. Kukoni error on a ball to Naporti. And strike three looking. He used to strike out for the third out of the inning, but the Bullfrogs will get a run. It's 1-0. We head to the second. Bullfrogs baseball. The Northwoods League TV and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Miller time. It's not a specific time of day. It's a rallying cry. Doesn't matter if it's texted, the subject line of a mass email, or yelled above the din of a karaoke bar. I can Call to action to the men around you, the ones you trust more than an acquaintance, co-worker, or, you know, that guy. The men that have become your brothers. A call to beer is answered with when, where, and... Order me a Miller Lite, I'll be there in 10. A night where your crew settles in over a cold Miller Lite and gets down to the task at hand. A task that may or may not involve running tables, oh, break, firing up the grill, oh, oh, nice. or getting the band back together. Just a couple of guys proving that all it takes is a few choice words spoken to the right men. Men who crave a light beer that's never light on taste. Because it's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Great beer and great responsibility. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Look for mainly cloudy skies tonight with a couple of isolated showers and storms. We'll see a low temperature of 71 degrees with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, a couple of isolated storms early in the day. Then skies become clear with a high temperature of 88 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Saturday, a chance of storms with a high temperature of 84. Sunday, we'll see a chance of storms once again with a high of 84 degrees. Monday, sunshine with a high temperature of 81 degrees. At your latest forecast for WOCO Radio, I'm meteorologist Ray Miller. Welcome back, Bullfrog fans. We have a 1 0 lead heading into the top of the second. William Sabino for, from Vanderbilt will step in the box to lead it off for the Huskies. That first pitch is going to be outside. Bullfrog scored on a ground ball by Naporti. Clemens would have scored either way, but Gucconi dropped the baseball as he was coming over to cover the bag as first base from Ambrosini fielded it. So 2-0 to Sabino, the shortstop. As he will swing, and that will trickle foul for the first strike. Bullfrogs wearing their awesome cheese jerseys tonight. They really enjoy wearing those jerseys. It is hot, though. Very humid. That's for sure, especially after the rain. That one fouled straight back, but they enjoy uh, those uniforms as they will be auctioned off at the end of the season. So 
So Dino finished up his sophomore season. At Vanderbilt. That pitch just misses. Good breaking ball. But doesn't get the call. Now 3-2 pitch. That was going to be hit towards Parker Cost. He will field. Throw it to Clemens. Clemens is going to hang on the bag. We're out number one. Another ground out. Two costs. She's three for three. And Daniel Paulson from Southern Cal. Steps to the plate. One out. Pitchers down. Paulson on the season is a 244 hitter, 21 hits, 11 runs scored, and 86 at bats, five doubles, one home run, 15 RBIs, 21 walks, 16 strikeouts. As he hits a high fly ball to shallow right field, Austin Clements calls off Hoyg and he makes the catch. So two outs. Bring up Jake Prize from UCLA. First pitch to Prize, it's going to be down. Prize out in right field tonight. For uh, the Duke Huskies so far this season, 240 hitters, 12 hits, 7 runs scored in 50 at-bats, 1 double, 1 triple, does have a couple home runs, 13 RBIs, 4 walks to 5 strikeouts. That is going to be up and in, now 2-0. Two and zero from Mahoney. That pitch will be fouled back, and it looks like Prize loses the bat. That one goes flying towards the Duluth Huskies again. A little wet still. Maybe need some pine tar on that bat. Remember, fans, for all your grocery needs, visit Festival Foods. Great stuff. Not a lot of money. That's Festival Foods. So, Andrew Mahoney from Mississippi State missed last season. Due to an injury by Tommy John. Two to one, and that one is popped up. Clemens gives chase. Let's go out of play. Foul ball brought to you by Tri City Glass and Door for all your glass and door needs. Call 920 468 7820. And that 2-2 pitch is going to miss it down. So it's full count, two outs, nobody on. Breeze from San Juan Capistrano, California. Will 
earn himself a walk. To keep things alive. And that's going to bring up the first baseman, Justin Ambrosino. Ambrosino goes to West Florida. First pitch is in it for a strike. He's finished up his junior season there. Pitch is down. Had a really good season this year. In 53 games played, he hit 364. 30 RBIs. 10 doubles, 1 triple, and a home run. So he did a solid year, now staying on a 1 2 count. It's going to be a ground ball to Parker Costa. He's going to have to charge. He picks, throws on the run, and will make the play. Another nice play by Parker Costa. And Andrew Mahoney works another scoreless. one nothing Bullfrog. We head to the bottom of the second. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stay FM Sports Radio. Hi, I'm Jeff Klein. I'm a real customer of Nicolay Bank. I thought all banks were basically the same. Same products, same promises. Then I heard about real rewards checking from Nicolay Bank. Who pays 3% APY on a checking account? Nicolay Bank, that's who. See how much you can earn by going to nicolaybank.com and use their interest calculator. The results may be surprising. Terms and conditions apply. See a banker for details. I'm Jeff. I'm a real customer, and I earn real rewards at Nicolay Bank. Okay, here are five important reasons why your son or daughter should play a high school sport. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline, sportsmanship, and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages and fewer disciplinary problems. Number three. High school sports help fight teen obesity and substance abuse. Here's number four. High school sports provide wholesome, constructive after-school activity, perfect for today's families. And number five. And high school sports are safer than ever before. Injury surveillance and research, better equipment, and the continuing education programs for coaches provided by state and national athletic associations have made high school sports safer than ever before. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. And Matt Hoig will lead off the bottom of the second. Your Bullfrogs have a one nothing lead early. Capitalizing on a couple of Husky mistakes, Austin Clemens reached on an error and ended up coming around and scoring on an error. So Hoig, first at bat of the night. First pitch will be a fastball at the belt for a strike. Hoig, in his last start against Battle Creek, two for four with an RBI. Couple singles. Second baseman out of Iowa Western Community College. He's now down 0-2 after swinging at that breaking ball down and away. Fastball up and away. Gonna miss for a ball. One, two, it's gonna be a breaking ball. Hit back up the box. It's gonna get through. So it's a single for Hoy to lead off the bottom of the second as the Bullfrogs look for some more runs. 
Your Milwaukee Brewers are in action tonight, unfortunately. Not doing so great at the moment. They are down to the Pittsburgh Pirates, 5-1. to one. That game is in the middle of the sixth inning, so it's about to be uh, the Pirates at, at bat since Milwaukee is in Pittsburgh tonight. As the designated hitter, Chris Boatsway will step to the plate. He's going to square and bunt, but he's going to foul that one in the box. Looks like he was trying to base hit bunt. He... Uh, Showed pretty late, and he kind of ran out of the box when he was trying to bunt. That's kind of the indication that it was a uh, a base hit bunt, pickoff attempt. Hoy is safe over there at first. Hoy only has three stolen bases on the season. The pitch, but pulled back. This boats were had a fantastic game the last time out. Three hits, three runs scored, ended up scoring the go-ahead run in at eighth inning against the Battle Creek Bombers. As that pitch is going to be hit to center field and ca caught on the run. It's Amaral, so Boatswain put a nice swing on it. But it's going to be a fly out. Boatswain came up to the booth and we uh, had a great interview. If you guys were able to catch that one. Talked a lot about what the coaching staff has meant to Boatswain. You know, Talking about how they still believe in him, always helping him every single day to try to become a better baseball player. And he's going to have to. He plays at one of the biggest universities in the country. Louisville has a tremendous baseball program, always competing at the highest level, competing for College World Series bids every year. So that's why he's here, trying to get his at-bats and try to work on some stuff and grow as a player. And we've already seen a huge growth from Boatsway throughout the season. He's really come on and has helped the Bullfrogs in a big way as Brian Lee's the catcher, swings at a 2-0 pitch. Sabina's going to field, get the at second, over to first, safe. So again, not hit hard enough. That grass really uh, slowing those ground balls down. The Huskies were able to get one. Fielder's choice. Now bring up the top of the order in Austin Clemens. Clemens scored the only run of the game for the Bullfrogs. After reaching on an error. Lee is at first. We have time called by Clemens. Austin Clemens again out of Louisville. Chris Boatsway's teammate. He's in his redshirt freshman season, so he's one year ahead of Boatsway. Pitch is in there for a strike 0-1. On the season, Clemens is a team-leading 355 hitter. 39 hits, 23 runs scored, and 110 at-bats. Four doubles, a triple. Two home runs, 14 RBIs. Does have 36 strikeouts. So he swings and misses to a breaking ball 0-2. So the strikeout numbers are a little high. But when you're hitting us at a high average, it goes hand. It's okay. Like those things get overlooked a lot. You see that that in the major league level, when guys like Chris Davis strike out close to 200 times, but hits almost 40, 50 home runs. You take the power and the home run numbers, those RBI numbers as well, over the strikeouts. Especially in the uh, day of age of baseball that we're in, especially at the major league level. Players are striking out at a, the highest rate in history. Uh, as Lees will get back safely. So if you're able to produce, at least in power numbers or in average, coaches will turn a uh, blind eye to those strikeouts. There's a 1-2 to Clemens. Curveball is going to be hit 
through the hole on the left side of the infield. So it's going to be a base hit for Austin Clemens. He continues to swing a hot bat for your Bullfrogs. Now two outs with Parker Cross stepping to the plate. Parker Cross runners at first and second. First pitch is fouled right in the box. 0 oh and 1. Cross had a base hit in his first at bat. Beat out a slow ground ball to the shortstop Sabino. Single would potentially drive home The second run of the ball game for the Bullfrogs. As he will swing and miss. And it's going to be thrown out of first, but safe is Clemens. Clemens getting a little too uh, greedy over there at first base, taking too big of a secondary lead. Bernard, the catcher, behind the plate. Aware of that. Throws one down at first, but Clemens able to get back safely. Though a close play. And Parker Koss is down 0 and 2. And again, but this time the first base Ambrosino is not there. Comes to get back safe. I think even if Ambrosino was there, Clemens, that was a less close of a play than it was the first time. One, two. Breaking ball in the dirt, blocked by Bernard. Clemens is a 277 hitter, 26 hits, 16 runs scored, and 94 at bat. One double, two triples, a home run, 18 RBIs, 20 walks, 12 strikeouts. 2-2. Two, two. That breaking ball is inside, now 3-2. and two. Parker Koss does not strike out a ton, only 12 and 90 at bats. And he walks more than he strikeouts, which is... What you're looking for if you're a hitter, if you can get more walks to strikeouts, you're doing things right, you have a good sense of the strike zone, and you're putting in quality at bat. Where's going to go? It's going to be a base hit up the middle. Lees is rounding third. He's heading for home. It's misplayed in center field. Now Clemens is going to go all the way home. The throw is offline. As Bernard says it to center field. And Parker Koss will get to third. So all, with all said and done, a lot of Aaron throws with the Bullfrog. Score a couple. Parker Koss base hit. Will score Clemens and Lees. Clemens all the way from first. Clemens scored on the air by the center fielder, Amala. So three, nothing. Bullfrogs as Shoemaker's going to swing at the first pitch. He pops it up. Bernard will make the catch. And... After that, the Bullfrogs take a 3 nothing lead. Big 2-RBI single by Parker Koss. Bullfrogs head to the third, 3 nothing. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Attention pizza lovers, have you tried a brew pub pizza? Designed to be the best of the best pub pizzas ever made, every brew pub lots of matzo pizzas made with your favorite premium meats and veggies and topped with over a half pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizzas are made right here in Wisconsin. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizzas are available at your local grocer and tavern. Check Brew Pub Pizzas out at Facebook.com slash Brew Pub Pizza and get more details at BrewPubPizza.com. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizzas, official frozen pizza of the Green Bay Bullfrogs. Want to know what I like best about high school sports? I love watching my son run on the field. I love the fact that since he's been playing high school sports, he's making better decisions. And I love knowing that with the proper equipment, education, conditioning, and coaching, high school sports here in Wisconsin are safer than ever before. 
And that's something I really love. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Frogs have a three and nothing lead here in the third. Parker Cost big. Two RBI single. As Reed Long swings and misses. From Troy, now down 0 1. Checks his swings. Be a tough matchup for Long as he's facing lefty lefty to Mahoney. Another swing and a miss. One and two. Now to read Long. Long is our beer batter tonight. As he strikes out, half price beer for the next half inning. One, two. He's going to ground ball to Naporti. Naporti bobbles it. And he's not going to make the play. So that's going to be an error on Naporti. To begin the third. And I'll bring up the number nine batter, Brendan McClary. Second baseman. Let's see if they uh, let him swing away. Maybe try to move a runner over in a scoring position. First pitch to McClary is going to be a fastball up. Fans stop into Richard Craniums where they have a great staff, great people, and some of the best wings and bloodies in town. Come see the newly remodeled indoors and enjoy the game on one of our many screens, including two projected Richard Craniums. We'll see you out here. That pitch has popped up. Brian Lees is going to give chase, but he will run out of room. Foul ball brought to you by Tri-City Glass and Door. For all your glass and door needs, call 920-468-7820. So no Porty, not a natural third baseman. Over there trying to get some extra work at a different position and also giving Clemens a chance to work over at first base. No, one and one is gonna be a pickoff attempt. Long gets back safely. Brennan McClary infielder, six feet, 160 from Columbia Basin. Back 274, 20 hits, 12 runs scored, and 73 at bats. Be two and one. Six RBIs, 12 walks, two 13 strikeouts. Two one pitch is hit into left center. Jonah Davis, Eustace Davis makes the call, makes the catch for out number one. That's to bring up Amaral. Emerald out of UCLA as well for his teammates. With Prius. Prize, excuse me. He 
He hit a ground ball to Parker Koss. His last at bat. That pitch misses away. Dueling pianos are here tonight. A great musical show. And they'll be doing all the music tonight as Emerald swing and miss one and one. So two pianos are set between section 104 and 105. That pitch just misses two and one. And we're all from Huntington Beach, California. Face up again his freshman season at UCLA. As he's gonna foul one straight back. Didn't see playing time in his freshman season. And it's one of the top programs in the country is UCLA. Okay, they're very strong. It's now two and two to Emerald. And swung on and missed. So Mahoney gets to strike out his first strikeout of the ball game. And now there are two outs. So Mahoney trying to work out of a lead off error. Needs one more and that brings up the catcher, Austin Bernard. Bernard grounded out in his first at bat, grounded out to Parker Koss as he's going to be first pitch swinging, fouls one. Back over the stadium. Bernard, 5'10", 190 sophomore from Pepperdine. Pitch is going to miss down and away. This season, he appeared in 15 games, making 13 starts. Seven hits, five RBIs, and five runs scored. Also had a couple doubles. He's the backup catcher for the uh, the Waves over at Pepperdine. So looking to build off that early success. As he sends the ball to right center, Shoemaker and Eustace give chase. He, Shoemaker looks like he's going to make the catch on the run. A nice play by Shoemaker to end the inning. Three scoreless for Mahoney as we head to the bottom of the third. Three nothing Bullfrogs. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. For some of us, saving is in our nature. Oh, good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, hi, Mama Bird. The rest of us might need a little help. Fortunately, there's Edvest, Wisconsin's official 529 college savings plan. Edvest accounts can be opened in about 15 minutes with just $25. And any earnings can grow free from state and federal income taxes. When it's time for my little birds to leave the nest, we'll be prepared to help them fly on their own at colleges, technical colleges, graduate schools, and professional schools nationwide. Birds of a feather save together with Edvest. Call 888-338-3789 or visit edvest.com for more information. To learn more about the Edvest College Savings Plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, read the disclosure booklet at edvest.com. Check with your home state for tax advantages. Investments can lose value. TIAA, CREF, Individual and Institutional Services, LLC. Member FINRA, Distributor and Underwriter. Attention pizza lovers, have you tried a brew pub pizza? Designed to be the best of the best pub pizzas ever made, every brew pub lots of matzo pizzas made with your favorite premium meats and veggies and topped with over a half pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas are made right here in Wisconsin. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas are available at your local grocer and tavern. Check brew pub pizzas out at facebook.com slash brew pub pizza and get more details at brew pub pizza.com. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas, official frozen pizza of the Green Bay Bullfrogs. Welcome back.
back. Both frogs have a three nothing advantage as we head into the bottom of the third. Cranky Pats, Pizzeria, and Pub has been home with their delicious thin crust oven-fired pizza since 1955. Take a bite of Cranky Pats at one of their three locations in Nina, Oshkosh, and Green Bay. Quincy Naporti is going to lead off the third. It's Naporti Davis Eustace. Naporti swings through a fastball. 0-1 to the big third baseman from Florida State. Florida State at 300 at five dingers for the Seminoles. Middle of the lineup guy once again. It's back-to-back -back seasons. As he ropes the ball hard past the third baseman, Hanford, the base hit for Naporti. That ball was hit extremely hard. Hanford really didn't have a chance. He tried to uh, stab at it, hit off the end of his glove. Bring up Jonah Davis. Davis struck out in his first at bat. He's going to try to lay down a bunch. Give me a fat. Last ball up, he pulls back, 1-0. Bernard really likes to be aggressive with his arm. You can already tell multiple times he's looked like he was going to go throw the first for a back pick. He's done it a few times as well. As Davis has a weak ground ball to Sabino, he's going to have to come get it. And he's not going to have a play. Davis will be safe infield single for the Bullfrog. So back-to-back -back hits has runners at first and second. And I'll bring up Laren Eustace in a butt situation. A butt situation. But nobody out runners at first and second. And a guy like Eustace who's able to handle the, hit, the bat very well. A Duluth team who struggles defensively, especially today. He's going to square early. Play. Be a breaking ball. He's going to pull back. It's going to be a ball. He was just struck out looking in his last at bat. On a fastball at the knees. Ambrose seen over at first will be charging. He just squares another breaking ball, but it's going to be a ball, so 2 and 0. Oh. Interesting to see to go with a breaking ball. Usually an off speed pitch is easier to bunt. And the Bullfrogs are basically giving you an out. Just take it at this point. As Eustace unable to get the first one down. So two and one. Now the count. Gukoni, 2-1. Good punt. Fielded by Gukoni. going to get rid of it quick. Out. Bang, bang. Player there at first. But Gukoni able to get Eustace for the first out. Runners move up a base. I nice sacrifice bunt. For Eustace, puts runners at second and third. Bullfrogs already have a three-nothing advantage. Looking for some more. First pitch is going to be in there for a strike. Deal one. Now the Huskies struggle defensively. They're at the bottom 
of the Northwoods League. They're fielding 957 on the year. They are fielding better than the Bullfrogs. The Bullfrogs 953. Not by much. So both teams struggle defensively. You can already see Huskies having some trouble. And that ball's going to be popped up. Shallow right field. And making the catch with second base in McClary. Spectacular play. Over the shoulder catch. That ball was not deep enough for Napoli to score. So that's going to be a fly out for Hoig. Runners remain at second and third. Chris Boutsway will step to the plate. So the Huskies are a pretty solid hitting team, hitting 265 overall as a team. It's about a little better than the middle of the pack. They struggle to throw in the baseball. 5.01 team ERA. That's its fourth from last in the Northwoods League. As a weak round ball, it's going to be hit back to the pitcher. Gucconi is going to make the play and get both way. So the Bullfrogs has run it at second and third. No, uh, one out. Pop up in the infield. Weak ground ball back to the pitcher. Keeps the game at three and nothing. Bullfrogs still lead. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Miller time. It's a rallying cry to the men around you, the ones that have become your brothers. A call to beers answered with. Order me a Miller Light. I'll be there in ten. A night where your crew gets down to the task at hand that may or may not involve running tables, oh, nice or nice. firing up the grill, oh, oh. Nice. or getting the band back together. Two, three, five, oh. Just a few choice words spoken to the right men. Yeah. Men who crave a light beer that's never light on taste. Because it's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Great beer and great responsibility. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, here are three important reasons why your son or daughter should play a sport in high school. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages. And number three. High school sports are safer than ever before. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. All right, welcome back, Bullfrog fans. 3 nothing. your Bullfrogs lead. And one of your favorite Packers has a message for you. Donald Driver, wide receiver, back in the day, reminds you that even a crash at slow speed can feel like getting hit by a 300-pound lineman. Click it or ticket. Let's achieve zero deaths on Wisconsin roads. Zero in Wisconsin, a vision we can all live with. Wisconsin Department of Transportation, a proud sponsor of your Green Bay Bullfrogs. So the Bullfrogs had an opportunity to score in that third, had runners again at second and third. One out, Matt Hoy popped up to shallow right field. Nice play by second base McClary to make that over-the-shoulder catch. And then Chris Boatsway, first pitch swinging right back to Gucconi on the mound, and he was able to uh, make the put out. For the third and final out. So we head to the top of the fourth, and Carter Hanford will lead it off for the Huskies. First pitch is going to be a fastball up and away. And for 0 for 1, flew out to Shoemaker in right field. Takes a pitch down, 2 and 0. So Mahoney, last inning, he's had run. one run allowed. That one's fouled straight back after struggling in his first start again. It's his first time out, he hasn't pitched in a while. First time uh, in a bullfrog. 
on the show for maybe some jitters. But the way inning in the third, he gave him five runs. Since then, he's run really well, started this game with three scoreless. Had to be a strike at the knees. Two two. That should be a ground ball to Clemens. Mahoney's gonna have to hustle to a big big play at first. And we got him. Nice play by Mahoney. There's a foot race between him and Hanford. Mahoney had to make the play, so one out. That's gonna bring up Sabino, the shortstop. Sabino batted 302 for the Commodores. Appeared in 31 games, made six starts, 13 hits, and 43 at bats. Eight out, guys, one home run. That one's fouled straight back, so he had a solid season. For Vanderbilt, coming off the bench, one of the top guys. No in one count. He a pitch away one and one. He grounded out to his shortstop counterpart, Koss, in his first at bat. Now Sabina really uh advised the uh, student athlete. The one one pitch to right field. Shoemaker will make the catch. Sabino. Was 2015 first year SEC academic honor roll. So he, he's a guy that takes his academics seriously. In a school like Vanderbilt, not an easy school to uh, succeed in. It's really tough academically. And hey, uh, Sabino, cracking down and making sure he does well academically, first most, is impressive to see. So there's two outs. The lefty Daniel Paulson will step to the plate. Paulson flew out to shallow right field to Austin Clemens. That's a 1 1. Balls we hit off the glove of Mahoney. Costa has to change direction, but he's not going to be able to make the play. That's a tough break for the Bullfrogs. We had infield single. But it looks like if Mahoney was able to let that one go, that one's going to go right to Parker Koss. As we bring up Jake Prize at a UCLA. Prize didn't see action in his first year. For the Bruins. Two outs, runner on first. First pitch is going to be inside. Down and away now. Two and oh. That time for the Northwoods League score update. Take a little trip around the Northwoods League here in the fourth. That ball's hit well to left field. Jonah Davis is going back. And it's to be off the wall. Boston's coming around and scoring. Breeze is heading to third. 
the throw, not in time, a two out RBI triple for Jake Prize. And the Huskies have their first run of the game here in the fourth. That ball was crushed to left center, hit off that Cellcom sign. Close to being a two run home run. But as it stands, it's just a run. There's still two outs with Justin Ambrosino. Stepping to the plate. The St. Cloud Rocks has a 7-5 lead over the Eau Claire Express. That one's in the top of the eighth. 1-0 pitch, and then for a strike, 1-1. One and one. The Wisconsin Woodchucks, 4-2 advantage over the Lakeshore Chinooks. Remember when I mentioned the Madison Baller alerts Kalamazoo Growler game was in delay? Well, now it's been postponed and rescheduled. That ball is laced down the right field line. It's going to be an extra base hit for Ambrosino. Prize comes around and scores. So back-to-back -back extra bases for the Duluth Huskies. And now it's a 3-2 ball game. That ball was laced down the right field line over the head of the jumping Austin Clements. And now when it looks like the Huskies were going were gonna to go down, another scoreless frame, three straight hits. And uh, they have now cut this lead of the Bullfrogs. It's one run ball game. So the Mouse and Grouse will play doubleheader tomorrow. The Mankato Moon Dogs 9 4 over the Waterloo Bucks in the top of the fourth. As Reed Long steps to the plate, he's going to check his swing. They're saying no swing, so 1 0. Rockford Rivets, Wisconsin Rapids Raptors, tied at zero. Top of the fourth, uh, Rochester Honkers, 6-2 over the Thunder Bay Border Cats. Bottom of the sixth. The 1-0 pitch. That one's hit hard. Foul. Just right of the first base back. 1-1. One one. The cross logger, 7-2 over the Wilmer Stingers. Bottom of the third, the Stingers are at the top of the North Division with an 8-4 record. Then the Kenosha Kingfish has a 5-4 lead over the Battle Creek Bombers. That one's in the top of the six from C.O. Brown Stadium. One one pitch will be fouled straight back. Long reached on an error behind a port in the third. He was stranded at first base. One two. Swing and a miss. So long goes down swinging. But the Duluth Huskies score a couple. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Bullfrogs still lead. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Final flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. Hello? This is the Federal Bureau of Vacation, and you, ma'am, need a break. What? Sorry, bad cell connection. I called your landline. You did? At work. But... At night. Oh. On a weekend. All right, I'll take a vacation as soon You're as I... You're ready now. I am? Yes. You know what else is ready? What? Your room at American. I knew you'd say that. Play American's hilarious fill-in-the-blanks game for a chance to win great prizes at fillintowin.com. American, your room is ready. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. 
Ready to take a voyage through the sounds and styles of some of the world's greatest musical performers? Hi, this is Mike Martin, host of Martini Mix, and every week I'll bring you timeless greats of music, time-tested artists like Count Basie, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and many more. I'll bring you the perfect blend of music, nice and cool, served straight up on Martini Mix with Mike Martin. Listen to Martini Mix Sundays from 1 to 3 p.m. on WLCO Stereo FM 107.1. Fans, your friends at U.S. Cellular want to remind you that their service gives you a strong signal in the middle of anywhere. U.S. Cellular's focus on local communities allows them to deliver an ideal customer experience. As the first pitch is going to be granted to Sabino, he's going to charge, throw on the run, and picked by Ambrosini over at first base. One pitch, run out to start the fourth. The Duluth Huskies scored a couple in that last inning. Paulson with a two-out single started it off. Then Prize hit a triple, RBI triple to score Paulson. And then, just like that, Ambrosino hits an RBI double. That's how the Duluth Huskies got their two runs. Bullfrogs really had all the control as Austin Clemens takes that first pitch for a strike. Where he's playing good defense, pitching well. Mahoney is going three straight scores to start, getting runners on in a scoring position. Offense looked well so far. They have six hits through three and a third. Just like that, Huskies strike quick. Huskies a solid offensive team again. Three uh, two sixty four team average near the top of the Northwoods League. Oh, two pitch gonna be a fastball away, trying to get Clemens to chase. Clemens has reached base twice and scored two runs. He had a single in the second, reached on the air in the first, and that ball's inside two and two. So Clemens doing what he does best, score a ton of runs, gets on base for the Bullfrogs. And again, he does exactly what you want from that leadoff spot. 2-2. Two, two. As he chases ball in the dirt, Bernard blocks. He's going to have to get up, throw to first, and it's going to go over the head of Ambrosino. Clemens is going to hustle and get to second base. So an error by Ambrosino. Puts a runner in scoring position for the Bullfrogs. So that's their fifth error in only a three and a third innings. Bernard had all the time in the world. Threw it over. The ball just sailed on him. And it got over the head of Ambrosino over at first. And now it's going to be Josh Hollander. So we're going to have a pinch hitter for Parker Cost. It's going to be Josh Hollander. So I'm not really sure what with the change and to potentially could be an injury. We're not sure, though. Don't want to speculate that, of course. As Hollander sends one into the Bullfrogs dugout. So Hollander out of Kent State will be coming off the bench and hitting for Parker Cost. Cost stays done. He went two for two, had a couple RBIs, had that big two out, two RBI single in his last at bat. But now Hollander's going to take over, probably will head out to shortstop that next half inning, because he's going to swing and foul one in the box. Hollander on the season. For your Bullfrogs. 161 hitter. Five hits, four runs scored, 31 at bat. Nine walks to eight strikeouts.
as Gukoni is going to step off. Ponder down one and two with Shoemaker on deck. Clemens is over at second base. As Hunter's going to swing and miss on a breaking ball, but now he's going to come out and throw to Ambrosino. And this time, a good throw. And now there's two outs. Now, real market is Shoemaker. Shoemaker is 0 for 2 on the day. Ground. Rounds it out to the pitcher, Gukoni, and then popped up to the catcher, Bernard. So it hasn't hit the ball past 60 feet yet, but a chance to drive in a run and try to uh, get one of these runs back that they gave up in this top of the fourth. Shoemaker is frustrated with himself offensively. He's definitely has struggled um, in recent games. Zone one pitch is outside for a strike. I love talking about hitting with Shoemaker. We actually talked on the way home from the All-Star game. And he's talking about linear hitting. What basically that means is trying to go get your body moving forward, create some momentum towards the baseball, stay upright, don't collapse, keep that front shoulder in. Right now he's thinking, he's, he's saying that his front shoulder is flying open. That's going to be a foul ball. Stays on. Alive, 0 and 2. He's saying right now he is flying open with that front shoulder, and that's why he's pulling off some baseballs and hasn't been really striking the ball as cleanly as he's used to, especially this season. So I know he's been working on that. He was out here earlier on the tee, getting some extra work in. The 0-2 pitch to Shoemaker. And he is going to swing and miss on a fastball away. So we head to the fifth. Bullfrogs have a slim 3-2 advantage. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Hi, I'm Jeff Klein. I'm a real customer of Nicolay Bank. Tax time is the perfect time to see the true value of real rewards checking from Nicolay Bank. Take the 1099 interest form from your current bank, then go to NicolayBank.com and use their interest calculator. The difference in interest earned may be surprising. You could be earning more money at Nicolay Bank for doing the same things you're doing right now. Terms and conditions apply. See a banker for details. I'm Jeff. I'm a real customer, and I earn real rewards at Nicolay Bank. From time to time, parents occasionally ask, is it safe for my children to participate in high school sports? A better question might be, is it safe for my children not to participate in high school sports? Statistics show that teenagers are likely to be healthier and stay healthier as adults if they play a sport in high school. Participating in a high school sport builds and maintains strong bones, muscles, and joints. High school athletes are also more likely to develop good eating habits. High school athletes not only have stronger bodies, their self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-discipline are strengthened too. So insightful parents aren't asking, is it safe for my children to participate in high school sports? Instead, they're asking, hey, what time is the game tonight? This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Do you want to own the same ball cap as your favorite Green Bay Bullfrogs? Well, now you can. The official game cap of the Bullfrogs is brought to you ex exclusively by Pacific Headwear. Pick up one today at the Hop Shop or online, www.greenbaybullfrogs.com. That's Pacific Headwear, official game cap of your Green Bay Bullfrogs. So Josh Hollander will remain in the ball game. He's going to be out there at shortstop, replacing Parker Koss. Brendan McClary will step to the plate, 
one and one the count after swinging through a fastball. McClary flew out in his first at bat in the third, flew out to Jonah Davis. Has made a nice defensive play, though, in the field. Made an over the shoulder catch on a Matt Hoig flare into shallow right field. Two one pitch. Will miss now three and one. Right now the Huskies two runs, three hits, five errors. Bullfrogs three runs on six hits, one error. This is where we stand right now. Three one pitch. It's going to be set to center field, and it's going to be a base hit for McClary to begin this fifth inning. The Bullfrogs in the fourth went down pretty easily, even though they did have a runner in scoring position in Clemens, but they struck out three times. Had one ground out as well. Clemens was able to reach on a strikeout as to Bernard. Threw a ball over Ambrosino's head. In the bullpen, we got Logan Elliott getting loose. So Elliott loose in the Bullfrogs bullpen. As a pitch is going to miss up to Daniel Emeral. Out of UCLA. Emeral on the day is 0 for 2. Grounded on the first and struck out in the third. one -0. You're going to try to lay down a bunt, and they're going to say it hit him. So Amaral is going to go to the first. That ball came inside and hit the UCLA center fielder. And now the Huskies are threatening once again back-to-back -back innings. As they run is at first and second. With their middle of the order coming up, Brian Lees is going to go out and talk to Mahoney and try to uh, talk things out. Cousin Subs is Delhi Fresh Daily. Don't settle for average. You deserve better. Better bread, better subs, cousins. And now Skip Handelsman is going to make his way out. And he's going to go with the right-hander, Logan Elliott. So Mahoney's day is done. He will leave. He went four-plus innings, gave up a couple runs, and is leaving with runners at first and second. Nobody out. His Mississippi State, Mississippi State teammate will come and try to bail him out. Bullfrogs. So have a 3-2 lead here in the fifth. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. For some of us, saving is in our nature. Oh, good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, hi, Mama Bird. The rest of us might need a little help. Fortunately, there's Edvest, Wisconsin's official 529 college savings plan. Edvest accounts can be opened in about 15 minutes with just $25, and any earnings can grow free from state and federal income taxes. When it's time for my little birds to leave the nest, we'll be prepared to help them fly on their own at colleges, technical colleges, graduate schools, and professional schools nationwide. Birds of a feather save together with Edvest. Call 888-338-3789 or visit edvest.com for more information. To learn more about the Edvest College Savings Plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, read the disclosure booklet at edvest.com. Check with your home state for tax advantages. Investments can lose value. TIAA CREF Individual and Institutional Services, LLC. Member FINRA. Distributor and underwriter. Okay, here are three important reasons why your son or daughter should play a sport in high school. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages. And number three. High school sports are safer than ever before. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. All right, there's 
a scout sitting up in fr right in front of the uh, PA booth. You'll see him. He's an older guy with a notepad. If you go into the hop shop and get a roster out of the, one of the uh, Daily Frogs, can you give it to him, please? No, it's not. He still doesn't have a roster. All right, so Logan Elliott will come into the ball game. He'll place Mahoney, and he's going to face the catcher Austin Bernard. There's going to be a back pick to second base, but safe is McClary. So Bernard squares again. This time he gets it down. Logan Elliott's going to field. He's going to check third and throw it to first. Good pick by Hoyt. Now Elliot, it looks like he, I think he had a shot at third base if he wanted it. I know it's still fairly early in the game. Only the fifth inning. Tough to take some chances. But it seemed like uh, he had him. Decided to get the got it first. So it's going to be a sack bunt for Bernard. Runners move up the base. Got second and third. One out with Carter Hanford stepping to the plate. He's 0 for 2. That's going to be in there for a strike 0 and 1. And now we have, it looks like the, a rabbit is on the field. Earl, Earl. So a rabbit runs on the field, so we have a stoppage of play. Now Brian Lees is giving chase a little bit. And now Dakota Klein is getting in some action. So again, play stopped. Rabbit's running. Let's see if they're going to try to get it off the field. It's going into the bullpen of the Bullfrogs. Not sure how it got on the field. Must have jumped one of those small fences. Well, it looks like we're going to resume, resume play. You got the corner infield in. So Clemens and Naporti. The middle is back, so they'll play for an out. Breaking ball down one and one. Logan Elliott, this is his 20th appearance of the season, leads the Bullfrogs. The 1 1 pitch is fouled towards the Huskies' dugout, one and two. 31 innings so far this year, 18 runs allowed on 34 hits, 15 walks. To 31 strikeouts, 3 and 2 record, and a 5.22 ERA. Last time out, went 4 and 2 thirds innings, his longest outing of the season as he pitched against the Battle Creek Bombers. 1 2. That ball's hit well to left field. Davis is going back. He's going to make the catch right in front of the warning track. So run is going to score, and the Huskies have tied this ball game off a sacrifice fly from Carter Hanford. McClary comes around and scores from third. Amaral stays at second base. That run will be charged to Mahoney. And that's going to be out number two. So Elliott doing a good job getting first two men he's faced out. But now it's a tie ball game, three to three. As the Huskies, who were scoreless in the first three innings, have quickly tied this ball game in the last two. First pitch is going to be a ground ball, and a point. He's going to hit off his glove, 
He's going to gather and not be able to make a play. So Liam Sabino reaches on an error by Naporti, his second error of the day. As he's having uh, some problems out there at third base. Again, third base, not his natural position. That ball was hit well by Sabino as well. So got to give him credit, the Vanderbilt shortstop. But now Paulson will step to the plate. Paulson scored the first run of the game for the Huskies in that fourth inning with a two-out infield single to get things going for them as a third and first pickoff mood, but doesn't fool the Huskies. Sabina has five stolen bases on the season. As the ball is hit to Clemens, Clemens will field it, tag first. So Elliott able to get out of the jam for the Bullfrogs, but one run is going to come and score. It's a 3-3 ball game as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Vinyl flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You designed them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. This is Kirsten, General Manager of the Peshtigo and O'Connell Pharmacies. Did you know that we'll mail or deliver your prescriptions to you? At our pharmacies, we want to make things easy for you. Peshtigo and O'Connell Pharmacies, our family helping your family. Who do I wrestle for? I wrestle on my high school team for Jason Garcia, my fiercest competitor during practice and my biggest fan during meets. I wrestle for the chance to put our little high school right here in Wisconsin on the map. Wearing the uniform of your high school comes with a big responsibility. Younger kids look up to you, and the reputation of your high school depends on you. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. If you've been to the ballpark lately, you may have noticed that convenient orange storage unit located on the third base side of the ballpark. With U-Box storage unit from the U-Haul store, U-Box, we deliver. Call 920-499-8813 to book yours today. So the Huskies tie up the ball game of a sacrifice. From Carter Hanford, scored Brendan McClary, who began the inning with a base hit. So just like that, it's 3-3 in the bottom of the fifth as the Bullfrogs send Quincy Naporti to the plate. First pitch from Guconi. Going to be a strike. Guconi, who struggled in the first two innings, giving up three runs in those two innings, has really settled in in the third and the fourth as a breaking ball is going to be weakly hit. To McCleary at second, he makes the play, so Naporti will ground out to begin the fifth. And that's going to bring up Jonah Davis. Now, Davis, one for two, singled in the third as an infield single. First pitch is going to be a strike. He's also struck out. That came that coming back in the first. Mahoney's final line. He went four innings, four hits, allowed three runs, score, two walks, and two strikeouts. It'll be a no decision for the left-hander. Logan Elliott was able to get out of that inning, getting the three batters he's faced out. But unfortunately, one of those batters happened to be a sack fly. So Mahoney earns the no decision. 
as the Huskies bullpen is getting loose. It's going to be a righty. That one two pitch misses down and away. Two and two to Davis. Two two offering will be fouled back on the season. Two th 35 hitter is Davis, 27 hits and 27 runs scored, 115 at bats, five doubles, two triples, five home runs, team leading, 15 RBIs, 23 walks to 36 strikeouts, has four stolen bases. As he will swing and miss through a fastball, so it's his strike, second strikeout of the day. Bullfrog's second out here in the fifth. I'll bring up Larry Eustace. He's going to send a ball to Sabino. He's going to have to get rid of it quick to get Eustace. And he does. So a 1 2 3 inning for the Bullfrogs. As the game remains tied, we head to the sixth. 3 to 3, Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. You'll benefit from their thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They'll recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. Want to know what I like best about high school sports? I love watching my son run on the field. I love seeing him smile when he high fives his teammates. I love seeing his eyes light up when his team scores a goal. I love the fact that since he's been playing high school sports, he's making better decisions. And I love knowing that high school sports have never been safer. Why? Because coaches have more information than they've ever had. Training techniques are more sophisticated and equipment has never been more advanced. Playing high school sports isn't just safe. It's still the best way to give your teenager a healthy head start in life. And that's something I really love. This message about the value of high school sports is presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Logan Elliott will come out for a second inning of work. Here in the sixth, it's 3-3. Three, three. As Jake Price steps to the plate. He will swing and miss. In his last at bat, he hit that triple off the wall in left field, driving the first Huskies run. The 1 swung on a miss again, 0-2. Pre's 1-for-1 on the day. He walked to the second. So it's reached base twice. Oh, it has him 0-2. And, and a breaking ball weekly hit towards the backstop. So it will remain 0-2. The Bullfrogs will be back in action against this Duluth Huskies team tomorrow night, 7.05. The start before heading on the road to Rockford. Plays the Rockford Rivets. 0-2 pitch is going to be a fastball just up, 1-2. and two. 
Elliott becoming more and more comfortable throwing from that uh, sidearm arm slot. He began the season throwing three quarters over the top, but has made the transition to sidearm to try to create more action on his fastball and more of his other off-speed pitches. He struggled early on, but since then has really come on strong as a ball is ripped to Napoli, but Napoli makes a nice catch over that third base for the first out of the sixth. So Preez is off the bases. Oh, Justin Ambrosino, the first baseman, steps to the box. Hit that double down the right field line to score a prize. The 1-0 pitch, swung and miss. You can see from that pitch right there, that downward action like a sinker from Elliott. And he's able to keep that pitch down. That's when you get his most action. And it becomes really tough to hit. So the 1-1 one, one pitch is fouled back. Now 1-2. and two. On the season, he's a 310 hitter. 26 hits, 11 runs scored, and 84 at bats. Six doubles, one triple wall, zero home runs, 15 RBIs, seven walks, seven strikeouts. That fastball misses away. 2-2. Two and two. Remember, fans, for all your grocery needs, visit Festival Foods. Great stuff. Not a lot of money. That's Festival Foods. Pitches down now, three and two. We got a final in Pittsburgh. Your Milwaukee Brewers fall to Pittsburgh, five to three. as Ambrosino is going to swing and miss. So sh strike out for Elliott, out number two for the Bullfrogs. Let's bring up Reed along to the plate. Struck out in his last at bat, and the fans here at Joanny's were very happy as he uh, was tonight's beer batter. So the Brewers fall to 40 and 53 on the season after... Uh, Falling to the Pirates as that ground ball is going to be fouled towards the first base side. Try to make a uh, game of it late. Scored two runs in the seventh, but was unable to uh, make that full comeback. So they drop the game five to three. The old one too long. Is it a ground ball? Hoy is going to dive. It's going to get past him and head into right field. So Long's going to get a base hit, his first hit of the day. Now we bring up Brendan McClary from Columbia Basin. He singled and scored in that fifth inning. Also has a fly out to his name. First pitch is outside, 1-0. and oh. As Elliott comes set, he's going to pick off. Brady McClary from Spokane, Washington. That fastball is going to be down, 2-0. and oh. 
Beclair was the leading hitter for Columbia Basin this past year. Batted 408. And 62 hits and 152 at bats, 40 games played. Seven doubles, 30 RBIs, 10 walks, 13 strikeouts. So he had a spectacular season. There's a 3 0 pitch, is going to be there for a strike. McLean, a uh, Huskies uniform. Again, batting pretty well. 274. Not terrible. Obviously, it's not 408. But he's doing some good things for the Huskies. That ball's going to be sent to shallow right field. Shoemaker will come in, make the catch, so Elliott works a score of six. It's three to three. Tie ball game. Bull Fox Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Hi, I'm Jeff Klein. I'm a real customer of Nicolay Bank. Like you, I never really thought about banking. Then I heard about real rewards checking from Nicolay Bank. Then I started to wonder why I wasn't earning 3% APY on my checking account. Then I started to wonder why I had to call an 800 number just to talk to someone. Then I stopped wondering and switched to Nicolay Bank. Now I earn real interest on my checking account and I can talk to someone who actually knows me. Terms and conditions apply. See a banker for details. I'm Jeff. I'm a real customer and I earn real rewards at Nicolay Bank. I loved playing high school sports. I loved the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, all the pageantry, and I wanted to keep playing. But I graduated. No colleges called, and neither did the pros. So, to stay close to the game I loved, I decided to become a high school official. You know, a referee. When I played high school sports, I learned the importance of integrity, good sportsmanship, and respect for the rules. Now, as a high school official, I get to help model these same values to others. Maybe the colleges and the pros didn't call, but the kids in Wisconsin did. And now, I'm enjoying the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, and all the pageantry of high school sports all over again. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Hey fans, show your ticket stub at Pizza Ranch Green Bay Oshkosh locations. Receive 10% off your next order, buffet or carryout. Pizza Ranch, always good. So Kukone's going to come out for his sixth inning of work. Right now he's at 81 pitches through five. So this might be his last inning, unless he makes it a quick one. The Hoig, Boatsway, please do up bottom of the order for your Bullfrogs. They try to break this 3-3 tie. Well, the first pitch is hit well to left center. That's going to get down Hoig. Rounding force, he's heading to second. And Matt Hoig leads off the sixth inning for the Bullfrogs with a double. That ball was hit well into the gap. That's Hoig's second hit of the game. So he's two for three today as Chris Boatsway steps in a batter's box. We'll see if Skip Handelsman elects to bunt and try to get a runner at third with less than two. If I know Skip the way I know Skip, I would say he's going to lay down a bunt, especially with a good bunter in Chris Boatsway. He squares, and he's going to lay a bunt down. It's just going to go foul, picked up by Bernard down that third base line. Looks like a good bunt, but had some English on it as that one spun to the hard left turn. 
about five feet away from home plate. Boatsway is 0 for 2, has flown out. Also has grounded out back to the pitcher. Looking to sacrifice Hoig. We're going to have time as looks like there's something in Boatsway's eye. So we got it cleared out. The ones we bunted, and they're going to not go to the out of three, going to go to one, and we'll get both sway. Can you turn that louder? So we have sack bun for Boatsway. Gucconi set his feet to third. I looked like he was going to try to get Hoig, but decided against it and get uh, Boatsway out of first. So the infield's now going to move in. For Brian Lees. 0 for 2 on the day. Did reach Baso in the second on a fielder's choice. Came around and scored on a Parker Cost single. Grounded out in his last at bat in the fourth. Has a chance to push across the go ahead run here in the sixth. You got a righty warming up in the Huskies bullpen. Duconi trying to finish his sixth inning of work. First pitch is hit. Check swing right back at Duconi. Hoy is going to have to stay at third base. Not a good at bat by Brian Lees as he just check swung and basically kind of bunted it back to the pitcher, Gukoni, and he was able to make an easy play. Now it's up to Austin Clemens. With two outs now, going to need a base hit in order to score Hoy. This would be a wasted opportunity for the Bullfrogs with Hoy being at second base, nobody out, then being at third with less than two. They're not able to Push across. Hoig as Clemens looked like he was about to bunt, pulled it back. Just be another missed opportunity. As they've had a couple so far today. Had runners at second and third with less than two, didn't score him. Had a runner at second base, less than two, couldn't score him. And now with a runner at third, still have a shot though. Say one to one to Clemens. On the day, he's one for three, but has reached base in all three at bats. Well, one is going to be a ground ball, and it's going to hit off Kukoni's leg. And Hoig will come in, and the Bullfrogs now take a 4 3 lead. It's going to be an E1. As that ball went through his legs, and it hit off, looks like it hit off his maybe his ankle or foot. So what looked like to be a missed opportunity inning ended up working in a Bullfrog's favor. As they're going to push across the fourth run. And that might be it for Gukoni. Head coach for the Huskies coming out and talking with his pitcher. And it will be. So Gukoni's going to leave. They're going to bring in a right-hander. Four to three Bullfrogs lead with Austin Clemens at first here in the sixth. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Miller time. Don't check your wrist or your calendar or follow up with your supervisor because Miller time has nothing to do with when and everything to do with who. What's up, Tommy? Miller Lite is brewed for the guys you're proud to call your brothers. Not the ones who have your last name, the ones who have your back, who hold your ladder and won't send you to voicemail. Hey. Who'll always talk you out of getting that faux hawk. Never talk nice. during your backswing. Because guys who leave nobody behind deserve a beer that leaves no taste behind. Whether you're running the table or a tab. 
Yeah. Miller Lite has hopped not once, but three times for the guys who never call you by your birth name. Manderson. <laughs> when you've got your brothers and the light beer that tastes like a beer should, it's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Great beer and great responsibility. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Look for mainly cloudy skies tonight with a couple of isolated showers and storms. We'll see a low temperature of 71 degrees with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, a couple of isolated storms early in the day. Then skies become clear with a high temperature of 88 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Saturday, a chance of storms with a high temperature of 84. Sunday, we'll see a chance of storms once again with a high of 84 degrees. Monday, sunshine with a high temperature of 81 degrees. That's your latest forecast for WOCO Radio. I'm your own, just Ray Miller. That is a Cellcom call to the bullpen. Cellcom built for you. New pitcher is going to be Wade Regis. Regis, a right-handed pitcher, 6'1", 190, junior from Texas Wesleyan. Will come in. He's a submarine guy. And he's going to be a tough matchup for Hollander, who's stepping to the plate. So Gilconi leaves, he gave up five hits, so far four runs in the ball game. Three of those earned. That last one's not earned since of an error. He's right now on hook for the loss. Struck out six Bullfrogs. And did an issue and walk, so not a bad day. But he's left the game trailing four to three. As he was able, almost able to get out of that last, this past inning, excuse me, but bots the ball on Clemens on that number right back to him. Clemens is going to run. Hunter's going to swing right back to Regis. He fields, flips it to first. To end the inning, the Bullfrogs do get a run. They take a 4-3 lead into the seventh. Bullfrogs, baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. For some of us, saving is in our nature. Oh, good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, hi, Mama Bird. The rest of us might need a little help. Fortunately, there's AdVest, Wisconsin's official 529 college savings plan. AdVest accounts can be opened in about 15 minutes with just $25, and any earnings can grow free from state and federal income taxes. When it's time for my little birds to leave the nest, we'll be prepared to help them fly on their own at colleges, technical colleges, graduate schools, and professional schools nationwide. Birds of a feather save together with AdVest. Call 888-338-3789 or visit edvest.com for more information. To learn more about the Edvest College Savings Plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, read the disclosure booklet at edvest.com. Check with your home state for tax advantages. Investments can lose value. TIAA, CREF, Individual and Institutional Services, LLC. Member FINRA, distributor and underwriter. Ready to take a voyage through the sounds and styles of some of the world's greatest musical performers? Hi, this is Mike Martin, host of Martini Mix, and every week I'll bring you timeless greats of music, time-tested artists like Count Basie, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and many more. I'll bring you the perfect blend of music, nice and cool, served straight up on Martini Mix with Mike Martin. Listen to Martini Mix Sundays from 1 to 3 p.m. on WLCO Stereo FM 107.1. So Logan Elliott will return for his third inning of work. We're in the top of the seventh. The Bullfrogs have a 4-3 lead. Hoig began the sixth. With a double, Boatsway sacked him over. Brian Lee's grounded one back to the pitcher for the second out. That first pitch to Amaral. Is a ball then. Austin Clemens hit a weak ground ball back to the pitcher. The pitcher, Kukoni, unable to handle. 
and Clemson is able to reach. Hoyt able to score. So that's where we sit right now. Four to three, Bullfrogs lead. We are in the top of the seventh. 2-0 the count to Daniel Emeral, the outfielder out of UCLA. And now he sitting on a 3-0 count as Elliott losing some command as we have a lefty in the bullpen. It's going to be B.J. Sable. Sable in the bullpen for your Bullfrogs. 3-0 pitch is in there for a strike by Elliott. So since Elliott's coming to the ball game, he's gone two innings, has only allowed one hit, has one strikeout, no walks. So doing well in this relief appearances. And it's going to be a weak crowd ball to Hoig. Well, he's going to handle throw on the run and will get Emeroff for out. Number one. In the seventh. That's going to bring up the catcher, Bernard. Bernard is 0 for 2 on the day. Ground it out, flown out. His last at bat sacrificed himself by way of the bunt. So they keep Elliott in with a lefty up to bat in Bernard. I think the lefty they're looking at is Paulson. He's right now three batters away. That's something that they might want to attack with Sable. That foul ball brought to you by Tri-City Glass and Door. For all your glass and door needs, call 920-468-7820. So Bernard down 0-2. It's going to be a slider. That one misses down. Good spot, though, by Elliott. Good pitch with two strikes. Fans, it's illegal to compose or send text messages while driving in Wisconsin. Thumbs down to texting. Let's achieve zero deaths on Wisconsin roads. Zero in Wisconsin a vision we can all live with. One, two pitch is going to be weekly hit to Hoig. But he's going to feel, throw it to Clemens, covering the first. And that'll be two outs. That's bring up Carter Hanford. So back-to-back -back round outs to Hoig. Hanford is 0-4. Two, flown out his first at bat, grounded out in his second, had a sack fly RBI his last at bat. As he's going to hit a fly ball to Clemens near the Bullfrogs dugout, he reaches over, but he's going to run out of room. Strike number one. Hanford out of Jefferson College batting 320, 48 hits, 16 runs and 150 at bats, nine doubles, one triple one home run, 16 RBIs. He's having a great summer campaign. A middle lineup guy for the Huskies, 0 1. That's a breaking ball, and that's going to miss down. Now they're trying to complete his third inning of work out of the pen. Three innings scoreless is what he's working for with B.J. Sable, a lefty from Indiana. The pen has a ground ball. Hit to Hogg. That's short. He's going to field. Send it over to first for out number three. So Logan Elliott. This is another scoreless frame. It's four to three. Bullfrogs lead. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. 
Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpets starting at 55 cents per square foot. Final flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. We also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. Who do I wrestle for? I wrestle on my high school team for Jason Garcia, my fiercest competitor during practice and my biggest fan during meets. I wrestle for my parents who practice what they preach, the importance of hard work, commitment, and dedication. I wrestle for the chance to put our little high school right here in Wisconsin on the map. Wearing the uniform of your high school comes with a big responsibility. Younger kids look up to you. Your teammates count on you. And the reputation of your high school depends on you. Do you have what it takes to participate in a high school sport? And I wrestle for the glory that is mine when I do my best. That's who I wrestle for. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Franklin is proud to be the official batting glove of the Northwoods League. Throughout the summer, all 18 Northwoods League teams are wearing their very own custom team batting gloves, courtesy of Franklin Sports. To order your favorite team's design or create your own, visit franklinsports.com backslash custom. That's franklinsports.com backslash custom and enter the code NWL20 for 20% off your purchase from Northwoods League to the Major Leagues. Only the best hitters in baseball wear. Franklin Batting Gloves. Now Marcus Shoemaker is going to lead it off for your Bullfrogs. It's Shoemaker, Napoli Davis, the heart of the order for your Bullfrogs as they try to extend this 4-3 lead over the Duluth Huskies in game one of a two-game series here from Joannes. First pitch is going to be a strike. Now Shoemaker has an advantage being a lefty hitter facing a submarine guy like Regis. As that ball doesn't bear down and in like it does against a righty. That's to be 0 and 2. Shoemaker 0 for 3 on the day. Grounded up back to the pitcher. Popped up to the catcher and struck out. So he's having a tough day at the plate. The 2 to Lenore Ryan outfielder. And he's going to chase the pitch away. So Shoemaker goes down swinging for the second straight at bat. That'll be out number one here in the seventh. Now we'll bring up Quincy Naporti. Naporti's 1 for 3 today. Grounded out in his last at bat. Has a single in the third, stranded at third base and reached on an error in the first drove in a run. It's the first pitch to Naporti. It's going to be hit right back to Regas. And that'll be an easy out. One pitch, one out. Excuse me, one pitch in and out. Two outs now. With Jonah Davis stepping to the plate. Jonah Davis, step up with two outs, nobody on. He's one for three, as he'll take a pitch down. There's a couple strikeouts, both swinging. Does have a base hit, that coming back in the third as an infield single. Thing on a 1 0 count. BJ Sable will be entering the ball game in the top of the eighth. 
one up pitch. That one's up 2 and 0. The Huskies bullpen is getting active as well. Looks like there's a lefty down in that bullpen. So the 2 0 to Davis. That one's hit hard. Ryan McClary at second base. He's, he's going to flip it over to first. The Bullfrogs go one, two, three in the seventh. We head to the eighth. BJ Sable on to keep the Bullfrogs on top. It's four to three. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Attention pizza lovers, have you tried a brew pub pizza? Designed to be the best of the best pub pizzas ever made, every brew pub lots of matzo pizzas made with your favorite premium meats and veggies and topped with over a half pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas are made right here in Wisconsin. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas are available at your local grocer and tavern. Check brew pub pizzas out at facebook.com slash brew pub pizza and get more details at brew pub pizza.com. Brew pub lots of matzo pizzas, official frozen pizza of the Green Bay Bullfrogs. I loved playing high school sports. I loved the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, all the pageantry, and I wanted to keep playing. But I graduated. No colleges called, and neither did the pros. So, to stay close to the game I loved, I decided to become a high school official. You know, a referee. When I played high school sports, I learned the importance of integrity, good sportsmanship, and respect for the rules. Now as a high school official, I get to help model these same values to others. Maybe the colleges and the pros didn't call, but the kids in Wisconsin did. And now, I'm enjoying the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, and all the pageantry of high school sports all over again. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. That's a cell call, call to the bullpen, B.J. Sable. Now on the mound for your Bullfrogs. Here in the top of the eighth is a 4-3 Bullfrogs lead. The Duluth Huskies scored three runs, five hits, made six errors. The Bullfrogs, four runs, seven hits, two errors. The experienced landscape designers are experts at creating comfortable and visually pleasing outdoor living spaces that will complement your home. The installation crew will prepare the soil irrigation system and ensure new plants and trees are planted properly. Once the landscape has been installed, their one-time services and weekly and monthly service plans are designed to ensure your new landscape maintains its beauty. Visit GreenBayLawnCare.com today for more information. That's N-E-W, Landscape and Lawn Care. First pitch from B.J. Sable is going to hit off the glove of Brian Lees and get by. Liam Sabino leads it off for the Huskies. Currently 0-4-3 in the ballgame. Grounded out in his first at-bat. Flew out in the second. Reached on an error by Naporti in the fifth. fifth. Stranded at first. The 1-0. Strike one and one. We're going to take one last trip around the Northwoods League before the conclusion of this game. As Sabino sends one straight back. Now one and two. Again, last time we checked, we had a final. That was a St. Cloud Rock, seven to five over the Eau Claire Express. Say one, two to Liam Sabino. And that one looks like it just missed. That was on the outside corner. Good pitch by Sable. The Lake Shore Chinooks have a 5 4 lead. Over the Wisconsin Woodchucks. That one's the bottom of the ninth. 
The Mankato Moondogs 10, 10 to 7 over the Waterloo Bucks in the top of the seventh. We got a good one in Battle Creek, 6 6 Kingfish Bombers. Sabino fouls that one back to stay alive. That was in the top of the eighth. The Rochester Hawkers have a 6 5 lead over the Thunder Bay Border Cats at the bottom of the ninth. Lacrosse Lauders, 8 5 over the Walmart Stingers in the top of the seventh. Rockford Rivets, 5 to 2 over the Wisconsin Rapids Raptors. That's one in the bottom of the sixth from Witter Field. And the St. Cloud Rocks has a 2-0 lead over the Eau Claire Express at the top of the second in game two of tonight's doubleheader. 2-2 two -two pitch. Read down and in. 3-2. and two. So that was your trip around the Northwoods League. Again, the Madison Mallards, Kalamazoo Growl is postponed until tomorrow. They'll play a doubleheader from Madison. This game, 4-3 to three in the top of the eighth. B.J. Sable coming in to replace... Logan Elliott. Elliott went three innings, gave up one hit, no runs, no walks, one strikeout for the right-hander out of Mississippi State. And Sable is going to lose Sabino, so he's going to walk the opening batter here in the eighth. He was right around the zone. Those were close pitches, but just not getting the call. Let's bring up Dylan Paulson. Tonight's designated hitter. Good lefty-lefty matchup for Sable. First pitch is down. Paulson on the day, 1-4-3. Had a single and scored around the fourth. Flew out in the second. Grounded out to Clemens in the fifth. The 1-0. Going to be a strike, 1-1. One one. And through those middle play, um, double play depth, pick off attempt, safe over there at first. This way will move the Bullfrogs over 500 to currently 6 and 6, tied for fourth in the South Division, three games back. That one one's going to be a slider. Ball two and one. How many levels? On the pitch by Sable. Slider swung on, two and two. Sabino at first, two two pitch. Slider to be ground ball to Sable. Sable's going to go to second. Going to get the out. And safe at first. So nice play by Sable to get the lead runner. That's going to be a fielder's choice. 1 6. I'll bring up Jake Prize. So right now the South Division looks like this. The Rockford Rivers have a 9-3. Lead in the division. Nine wins and three losses. That pitch is outside. Then you got the Wisconsin Rapids Raptors at 8-4. Matthew Mallard 7-5 in the Bullfrogs. Woodchucks tied at 6-6. Six the Bomber Shooks Growlers all at five and seven in the Kenosha Kingfish. Down at the bottom at three and nine. Now if the Rockford Rivets win against the Rafters, they'll continue to be 
three games up on your Bullfrogs, everything stays the same as is. What a pitch. Just missed outside. Now 2-0 to Prize. Prize 240 hitter all in the season. 6-3-200 freshman out of UCLA. Again, didn't play his freshman campaign for the Bruins. He is 1-for-2 today. Had a triple. Drove in a run in the fourth. As he sends that ball to left field. Davis is going back. So is Eustace. And that's going to be a home run. Jay Prize. Hits a two-run home run off of B.J. Sable. And just like that, the Duluth Huskies now have a 5-4 lead. Jake Price is having himself a ball game. Hit a triple in the fourth. That one was off the wall. Now it's a home run over the wall. So B.J. Sable, who's been pretty much untouchable, in the second half has given up the lead here in the eighth, 5 4 Huskies. The Bullfrogs felt really confident going to Sable and then eventually Graff, the new closer, as that ball is going to miss away. But Sable left the pitch over the plate and Price made him pay. So Ambrosino stepping to play one on the count. Now that one gets by. Reason now, pitching coach Angelo Nicolosi is going to come out and talk to B.J. Sable. The right move in the situation. It looks like he's uh, they lose some confidence out there. Cranky Pat's Pizzeria and Pub has been the home of their delicious thin crust. Oven-fired pizza since 1955. Take a bite of Cranky Pass at one of their three locations in Nina, Oshkosh, and Green Bay. That's Cranky Pat's Pizzeria and Pub. So already in the bullpen, it's Jeremy Graff. The bullfrog is closer. He's getting loose. Sable's giving up two runs here in this inning. Sabino walked to lead it off. Sable got Paulson to ground to a fielder's choice. But then, Preeze, two run shot, 5 4 Huskies. It's a 2 0 count to Ambrosino. And I would be in there for a strike. 2 and 1. Ambrosino 1 4 3. RBI double in the fourth. Struck out in his last at bat. That was against Logan Elliott. And that's going to be a slider fouled on in the box. So two and two to Ambrosino. So Bullfrog's now chasing a run. So Danger drop in the first game. Back from the All-Star break. Quick two-game homestand before heading back on the road to Rockford. Then they'll have a day off that coming up Monday before heading to Duluth to face this Huskies team as that ball is fouled off. Foul ball brought to you by Tri-City Glass and Door. For all your glass and door needs, call 920-468-7820. On the season, the Huskies are 22-26 and 26 overall. That's one game better than the Bullfrogs, 21-27. and 27. So both teams about the same. About three fourths of the season. But that ball sent to right field. Shoemaker is going back, but he will make the catch in right field for out number two. The second half has not started strong for the Huskies. Four and eight. 
It's at the bottom. They are on a one game winning streak. Four and six in the last ten as the Bullfrogs are six and four. So the Bullfrogs were trending up. Huskies were trending down a little bit. So it's a big, big game for both teams. And it looks like they're going to send a pinch hitter to the plate. Screen number 18, Matt Brown. So Matt Brown's going to pinch hit for Liam Long. They're going for a bring a right to face table, but now it looks like Skip is going to go out and counter that with a righty out of the bullpen. So Sable's night's going to be done, unfortunately, not the outing that he would have hoped for. He gave up two and leaves with the Huskies leading 5-4. to four. Jeremy Graff, the right-hander, is going to come in for you, Bullfrogs. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Have you heard of all the mortgage options we have to offer? NEW Credit Union is here for you when you're ready to make your move. We do home purchases, mortgage refinancing, loans for cabins and vacation homes, as well as land. We also have a home equity line of credit and home improvement loans too. Call one of our helpful mortgage specialists today for all the details. 800-924-1250. That's 800-924-1250. Or start your application online at www.newcu.org. NEW Credit Union is an equal housing opportunity lender serving all who live or work in Brown, Marinette, Shano, and O'Connell counties. Federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Certain terms, fees, and closing costs may apply. Property insurance may be required. All loans subject to approval. We have offices in Oconto, Oconto Falls, and Surrey. At NEW Credit Union, we can help you own it. Want to know what I like best about high school sports? I love watching my son run on the field. I love the fact that since he's been playing high school sports, he's making better decisions. And I love knowing that with the proper equipment, education, conditioning, and coaching, high school sports here in Wisconsin are safer than ever before. And that's something I really love. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Selcom call to the bullpen. Selcom built for you. Jeremy Graff will come into the ball game, replaces BJ Sable. Sable only able to get two outs, gave up two runs on one hit. That hit, of course, being that home run. So Brown will remain the pinch hitter. Brown, the catcher of Jefferson College, batting 232 on the season, 26 hits, 18 runs scored, and 112 at bats. He's going to swing and foul tip one right back into catcher's glove. Lee's strike one. Seven doubles, four home runs. This is a team leading four home runs. 17 RBIs, nine walks, 33 strikeouts. So he's going to face all star Jeremy Graff. Graff only faced a batter in the all star game. It got near the end, but there's still a lot of pitchers that needed to throw and not a lot of time left. So Graff faced the batter, recording an out. One and one. Two Brown. So we have fastball away, now two and one. On the season, for Graff, 18th appearance, 21 innings, three runs allowed on eight hits, 11 walks, 23 strikeouts. No wins, no losses, a 1.28 ERA and two saves. As that ball is going to be fouled straight back, two and two.
Dana, rain was a factor earlier this morning as it was coming down by the boatload as a 2-2 pitch is sent to Hollander, Hollander Fields, and will throw to first. Graf comes in, gets the one out. We head to the bottom of the eighth. The Bullfrogs now down 5-4 to four to the Huskies. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Attention business owners, it's tough enough to make a buck in today's competitive world. But if you're sending Washington and Madison more income tax money than you put in your own pocket, you're not going to be long for this world. Stop complaining and do something about it. Things don't just magically change by themselves. The tax code is full of legit loopholes and planning ideas for all size business operations. But you need to team up with a proactive CPA at Islandfield, Scantron and Anderson to put them into action. Call 715-735-0583 before it's too late. Look for mainly cloudy skies tonight with a couple of isolated showers and storms. We'll see a low temperature of 71 degrees with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, a couple of isolated storms early in the day. Then skies become clear with a high temperature of 88 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Saturday, a chance of storms with a high temperature of 84. Sunday, we'll see a chance of storms once again with a high of 84 degrees. Monday, sunshine with a high temperature of 81 degrees. That's your latest forecast for WOCL Radio. I'm meteorologist Ray Miller. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Vinyl flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. Let's so come call to the bullpen here in the bottom of the eighth. Yep. Looks like it's going to be a left-handed pitcher, Peyton Robinson. Robinson's going to come in the game to pitch for the Huskies. He's going to face a pinch hitter first in Hill Alexander. Alexander's going to pinch hit for Larry Eustace. A speeding pitch is better than a speeding ticket. Drive the speed limit and help us achieve zero deaths. All Wisconsin roads, zero in Wisconsin. A vision we can all live with. So like I mentioned, Hill Alexander is going to pinch hit for Larry and Eustace. Here in the bottom of the eighth, the Bullfrogs now have a, are now trailing the Huskies, five to four. Bullfrogs only needed six outs to win the ball game. Now it needs six outs to try to push across at least a run to keep this game alive. It's going to be Alexander Hoig and. way to face Peyton Robinson. First pitch will be a strike. Robinson's a left-handed pitcher, 6'2", 180 out of southeastern Louisiana. In eight games, he's made five starts coming out of the pen right now, though. 23 innings, 12 runs, 15, uh, 18 hits. As Alexander swings and misses 0-2. 10 walks to 17 strikeouts. Has a 4-2 record, 4.56 ERA. As it stands, Regis would get the win, Sable the loss. As Alexander goes down swinging, three straight fastballs, three straight strikes. Good start for Robinson. Now bring up Matt Hoig. Hoig having a nice ball game. Back-to-back -back games with two hits. Had two hits in that last ball game against Battle Creek. Two hits tonight, a single in the second. Popped down in the third, but then hit that double in the sixth and scored what at that point was the go-ahead run. First pitch is going to be up and in, 1-0 to Hoig.
as Hoig is going to pop one up. Sabino is going to come in and make the catch behind the pitcher's mound for out number two. So Robinson coming in, throwing strikes, getting outs. Is that Chris Beltway is going to step to the plate, and he's going to be called back by Skip Handelsman. And they're just going to have a conversation. I think maybe potentially try to push bunt off this lefty Robinson. We'll see if Boatsway uh, tries to do so, change things up a little bit, and try to get on base. Now, push bunt is perfect for a lefty, so Boatsway would basically try to push it past the pitcher on the right side of the grass and try to get the second baseman, McClary, to field the baseball. It technically serves as maybe like a weak ground ball to the right side. With Robinson falling towards the third base side, you have that open area potentially to put down a nice bunt. He's going to take that first pitch for a strike. So the 0 1 is now 0 and 2. So just like that, Beltway down two strikes. You know, two, strike three. So Beltway sees three pitches, sees three strikes. We head to the ninth. The Bullfrogs down five to four. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Okay, here are five important reasons why your son or daughter should play a high school sport. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline, sportsmanship, and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages and fewer disciplinary problems. Number three. High school sports help fight teen obesity and substance abuse. Here's number four. High school sports provide wholesome, constructive after-school activity, perfect for today's families. And number five. And high school sports are safer than ever before. Injury surveillance and research, better equipment, and the continuing education programs for coaches provided by state and national athletic associations have made high school sports safer than ever before. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. This is Kirsten, General Manager of Peshtigo and O'Connell Pharmacies. Stop in today and shop our huge selection of unique gifts, home decor, and craft items. You'll be surprised. We're more than just a pharmacy. Peshtigo and O'Connell Pharmacies, our family helping your family. The ninth inning, it's 5-4 Huskies lead. McCarthy, Selcom Carter bullpen. He's the new pitcher for your Bullfrogs, Matt McCarthy. The experienced landscape designers are experts at creating comfortable and visually pleasing outdoor living spaces that will complement your home. The installation crew will prepare the soil irrigation system and ensure new plants and trees are planted properly. Once the landscape has been installed, their one-time services and weekly and monthly service plans are designed to ensure your new landscape maintains its beauty. Visit GreenBayLawnCare.com today for more information. Annie W. Landscape and Lawn Care. So Matt McCarthy will come on and pitch the ninth. Try to keep the deficit at one. McCarthy's having himself a solid season for your Bullfrogs out of the bullpen. This will be his 13th appearance in 20 innings. He's given up 11 runs on 39 hits, 8 walks, 12 strikeouts, 0-1 record, 4.95 ERA. He's been pitching well his last few appearances. Been an ERA around seven for a while, but again, the last few weeks has pitched solid for your Bullfrogs. You dropped that one all the way down now, sub five. As he's going to face Brandon McClary. 
to begin the ninth, it's going to be McClary. Amaron Bernard. First pitch is going to be a fastball just missed. Good spot by McCarthy. A 1 0. Yeah, that one just misses as well. Good spot. There's a right hander warming up for the Bullfrogs. It's going to be ground ball in a port. He's going to field it. Throw it over to Clemens to out number one. So McCarthy gets his leadoff batter. McClary to ground out, out number one. I was bringing up Ed Morrow. 0 for 3 today. Couple ground outs, a strikeout, and a hit by pitch. He's just trying to get on base for a second time. Hopefully, via the hit, that's what he's hoping for. As that pitch misses away, 1 0. So we're going to miss one and one. It was Wisconsin Lotto night tonight as the representatives from the Wisconsin Lotto were here tonight playing some cool games with the fans. As they were, they are also the sponsor of our attendance call tonight, 1160. Another great crowd here in Green Bay. As Emerald swings and misses one and two. The rain kind of deterred a couple fans from coming out. Again, it was raining till about 30 minutes before game time. Game was pushed back about 10 minutes, but we were able to get it off. And the fans that uh, were able to come out, thank you. One and two in the dirt. Again, doing pianos as well. The doing pianos are here to provide awesome music for the fans, so thanks for coming out. 2 2 pitch is hit on the end of the bat, but goes foul. McCarthy out of Penn State missed up his junior season. One, two, two. Swing and a miss. McCarthy gets Amaral swinging for out number two. The catcher, Bernard. Bernard, switch hitting catcher. Now batting from the right side. So he's been all over the place. Batted right to start the game. He's batting left against Elliott. Now batting right again. Come out to the ballpark tomorrow. It's going to be a spectacular night. Superstars. Featuring characters such as Derek Cheetah and Alex Rodriguez will be out inflatable animals put on a great show for you guys. Please come out. It's going to be super fun. I heard great things. Haven't seen it myself. Super excited for that. That's going to be fun. It's also the Festival of Foods Big Cart's going to be out. Two a pitch swung and a miss by Bernard. So please come out to the ballpark tomorrow. There's still tickets available. Call our ticket office. T speak to our ticket guy, Earl. They'll hook you up with some great seats. Watch some great baseball. It's two and one. And that one misses up. Three and one out of Bernard. Okay, there's a righty warming up the Bullfrogs bullpen. Right now McCarthy doing solid, getting the first two guys out. So Pitts is going to miss down. McCarthy is going to walk Bernard to keep the inning alive. 
and that's the first time that Bernardo has reached base today. And Carter Hanford is going to now step to the plate. Hanford is 0 for 3. Flown out of a couple ground outs, but does have a side fly RBI in the fifth. That tied the ball game at three. First pitch to Hanford's going to be a strike by McCarthy. Also, it's the Aurora Baker Clinic tomorrow, Kids Clinic. And registration has been closed, so we are filled up. We're excited to have the kids out there. The, the players are excited as well to teach them some uh, some baseball. Very well, this is one and one. So they'll be out there. It's be a full day tomorrow. Here at the ballpark, we're excited. Because we're at home for six more days. That's a good strike, so we miss. So one and two, two Hanford. So Carthy's trying to pitch a score as ninth to give the Bullfrogs a chance in the bottom half to be tied or potentially win the ball game. The one and two is going to be fouled right off the glove of Lees. He was frustrated with himself. As if he was able to catch that, that would have been. Strike three. Out of stands, one and two. Pitch by McCarthy. Swing and a miss by Hanford. McCarthy pitches a scoreless ninth, and we head to the bottom half. It's five to four. The Huskies lead. Chance to tie, maybe walk him off. Do up its Lees, Clemens, Hollander for your Bullfrogs. Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Say hello to casual banking at the Stevenson National Bank and Trust. You can apply online for a loan at any hour without even changing out of your PJs. Whether it's a loan for your home, car, boat, RV, snowmobile, or ATV, you can apply and get approved from home. I'm Bob Schwartz at the Stevenson National Bank and Trust Ocano office, and I'm here to help guide you. Visit snbt.com today and get started. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Vinyl flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. This is Eric Nelson with Game Day Gold. Tune in to WOCO FM 107.1, the gateway to Door County, every Friday at 6 p.m. to hear me and Larry Fitzgerald talk about all things sports. All right, bottom of the ninth, the Bullfrogs need some magic as they try to tie or win the ball game here in the ninth off of Robinson, the left-handed pitcher for the Huskies. Want to tie, two to win. Brian Lees will lead it off. All the day, Brian Lees is 0 for 3. Yeah. A couple ground, he's grounded, he hit a ground ball at all three at bats. In that second, he uh, reached on a fielder's choice and then he grounded out to shortstop and to the pitcher in his last at bat. So 1 0. Two and Lees. So Robinson, who came out throwing strikes in that first inning, 
fall behind Lee's 2 and 0. That one's in there for a strike. So 2-1 to Lees. Clemens on deck. As he hits the ball hard over the head of McClary. That's going to be a ball in the gap. It's going to be a base hit. As Brian Lees stops at first. So what the Bullfrogs needed, a lead-off base runner, and that's going to bring up the top of the order for the Bullfrogs. Nice ball by Brian Lee as he roped that one over the head of McClary. Clemens. Has reached base in all four at bats. But he's one for four. Squared a bunt, he bunts it, and to be making a diving catch by the third baseman, Hanford. What a spectacular play. Wow, ESPN top 10 play. That was a bunt by Clemens. He popped it up just a little bit. And I don't know where Hanford comes in and makes a diving catch. Wow. <laughs> and that could be a potential uh, game saving play. As Alhada is going to step up with Lee still at first. Again, making that play. Keeps Lees at first base, unable to move into scoring position. One out with Hollander, who's 0 for 2 since coming in for Parker Koss. And a ball's hit. It's going to be a base hit for Hollander. So now the Bullfrogs have runners at first and second. One out. And the Bullfrogs' top two hitters, Shoemaker and Aporti, step into the plate. So it looks like Ricky DeGrom is going to come in and pinch run. So DeGrom pinch running. Shoemaker steps in. Second on the Bullfrogs in RBIs with 24. There's one out. That's going to miss down. It's a tough matchup, though, for Shoemaker. The lefty lefty to Robinson. There's a lefty in the bullpen getting loose for the Huskies. No action in the Bullfrogs. I believe if they tie this ball game up, they'll probably send McCarthy back out with the success that he had in the ninth. The 1-0. That one's up 2-0. Oh. So the Bullfrogs continue to fight. Two O to Shoemaker. That ball is a strike. Didn't like that call. It's a strike nonetheless. And he's going to send one high in foul territory. And it's actually was caught right on the line. That kind of tailed back into fair. Hanford makes the catch for out number two. So Shoemaker finished today 0 for 5. 
But now Napoli will step to the plate. Napoli leads the Bullfrogs with 27 RBIs on the season. Got the tying run at second base in DeGrom. It was Brian Lees. For the ground pinch running a little bit more speed. Napoli does have four home runs. Pitch inside ball. Good enough time call. Looks like a ball got by the catcher. Down at the Huskies bullpen. So one on Napoli. Napoli one for four today. A couple ground outs in his last at bat. Had a single in the third. 1-0 pitch is down in the dirt. But in a tough dilemma, you got a lefty on deck in Jonah Davis, so it's a way better matchup. But if you pitch around the party and walk in, then you're putting the, time, the game-winning run at second base in scoring position. So 2-0 to the party. That ball is going to hit him. So now the base is all loaded. And that's here we have Jonah Davis to the plate. That pitch ran in to Naporti. There's a lefty warming up. We'll see if they stick with Robinson. They're making a signal to see if he's ready. And it looks like that's going to do it for Robinson as they're going to bring in another lefty into this ball game and try to close it out against Davis. And they're going to talk to him. Again, he hasn't made the signal, and now he does. So Robinson's day is done. A new lefty is going to come in. He comes in with the bases loaded, two outs. They're up by a run. Huskies 5, Bullfrogs 4, Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO, Stereo FM, Sports Radio. This is Kirsten, General Manager of the Pestigo and Ocano Pharmacies. Do you or your loved one need help organizing your medications? Stop in and see us about our monthly bubble packing system. Pestigo and Ocano Pharmacies, our family helping your family. This is Eric Nelson with Game Day Gold. Tune in to WOCO FM 107.1, the gateway to Door County, every Friday at 6 p.m. to hear me and Larry Fitzgerald talk about all things sports. If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. You'll benefit from the thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They'll recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocano Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits, we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the pig in Ocano Falls. Cellcom call to the bullpen. Cellcom built for you. Let's give you another lefty. It's going to be number 37, Quentin Longry. Longry. Now on a pitch for the Huskies. Our helmet sponsorship is brought to you by the Neurological Surgeons of BayCare Clinic, your home team of all board certified neurosurgeons. And our rest restroom humor is brought to you by the Urological Surgeons of BayCare Clinic. No referral needed. Visit baycare.net. All right, Quinton Longry, the left-handed pitcher, 5'10", 190 out of Southern Cal. 17 innings so far this year. Four runs allowed on 15 hits. 2-0 record, 2.07 ERA, 20 strikeouts to nine walks. He faces Jonah Davis. First pitch down and away. Nowhere to put him. Bases loaded. Full of bullfrogs. Lees on their base hits. Napoli over at first. Hit by pitch. Negron is at third, though. He pitch ran for Lees. Jonah Davis, one for four. 
now pitches away 2-0. and Again, Huskies have nowhere to put. If Davis walks, it's going to be a tie ball game, 5-5. Five to five. Big time for Davis, chance to walk off. The Huskies here tonight. To a pitch, that misses away, 3-0. and oh. So Laundry, who is coming in for that lefty-lefty matchup, has thrown three straight balls to Davis. Those pitches, not even close. As he's in danger, walking in the tying run. He comes back with a strike, three and one. Now, do you take, if you're Davis, take the three and two, still has to go you another fastball? Or if the fastball's over the plate, do you take a rip at it? We'll see, three one. And that ball's down and away. Ball four. Your Bullfrogs tie up this ball game on a walk from Jonah Davis. That's going to Hill Alexander with the go ahead run. 90 feet away. And Hill Alexander who pinched it for Eustace back in the eighth, struck out, will come up in the ninth with a chance to win the ball game. First pitch in there for a strike. What a crazy game in the eighth. The Huskies took the lead. Now in the ninth, Bullfrogs tied the ball game. They're having to run 90 feet away. From winning this game. The one pitch. That one misses down two and one. So two and one to Alexander, the pitch. That ball's hit to left field. That's going to be a base hit, and your Bullfrogs are going to win the ball game. Hill Alexander with the walk-off single to the defeat the Duluth Huskies. Here tonight, the Bullfrogs score two and take down the Huskies. What a game, six to five. As the Bullfrogs are spraying Alexander with water, Shoemaker's running out there with a cooler. Dumps the cooler on Alexander. What an exciting ball game, folks. Six to five. Your Bullfrogs leave. We're going to take a short break. We're going to look back with some stats, a recap, and a look ahead. Your Bullfrogs win a thriller. Six to five. Hill Alexander, the hero. Bullfrogs baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Summer can take toll on your floors. Dirt and sand digging in, destroying carpet and vinyl flooring. Check out the latest styles at Factory Direct Flooring of Green Bay. At Factory Direct Flooring, you can save money on new flooring by avoiding the middleman. Carpet starting at 55 cents per square foot. Vinyl flooring starting at 99 cents per square foot. They also have custom area rugs. You design them, we make them. Factory Direct Flooring located at 1330 South Military Avenue at the intersection of 9th Street in Green Bay. Want to know what I like best about high school sports? I love watching my son run on the field. I love seeing him smile when he high fives his teammates. I love seeing his eyes light up when his team scores a goal. I love the fact that since he's been playing high school sports, he's making better decisions. And I love knowing that high school sports have never been safer. Why? because coaches have more information than they've ever had. Training techniques are more sophisticated and equipment has never been more advanced. Playing high school sports isn't just safe. It's still the best way to give your teenager a healthy head start in life. And that's something I really love. This message about the value of high school sports is presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. What 
I welcome back to Bullfrogs Baseball. I am joined with the hero tonight. Hill Alexander came up with bases loaded two outs in the ninth inning and set us I'm happy. Hill, can you just take us through that, uh, that last at bat? Well, uh, bases loaded. Uh, he didn't really have a whole lot of options. He just walked the runner before me. So I knew he was going to come and throw me some strikes. Uh, first two pitches weren't, uh, weren't for my pitch, so I was going to focus in and see me one that I could handle at the end. Yeah, you hit a rope to left field. I um, scored the winning run in Hollander. Yeah, you didn't start this ball game. You came off off the bench. You pinched it in that eighth inning. What was it like? You had to play the entire game and come in, get thrown into basically playing and then perform the way you did. It's definitely tough. Uh, you have to stay focused the whole game because you never know if you're going to come in or not. Uh, but the game called for me to come in, and uh, I was able to come through. Yeah, exactly. Uh, three days off after playing so much baseball. It's just how did that feel? I mean, just three off to maybe rest your body a little bit. It felt awesome. It's uh, definitely a grind up here, but uh, those three days off were much needed and uh, really charged the batteries a little bit and ready to come play some more baseball. Exactly. We, we're going to play this team again tomorrow. It was a nice win tonight. Two wins in a row. We're now over 500. Three games back out of that top spot in the south. Is this the time where maybe the Bullfrogs start going a little bit and we make a run at those playoffs? I think, I think the Froggies are starting to figure it out, and uh, no, we'll, we'll have a good shot. All right, well, Hill, thank you for joining us up in the booth. Thank you for getting that hit and making us all go home happy. Um, that was awesome. So, again, that's Hill Alexander. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with, again, a stats recap and a look ahead. I'm Brandon Morgan, Bullfrogs Baseball, Northwoods League TV, and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Who do I play high school softball for? I play for my mom and dad who've never missed a game. I play for the smell of my leather glove, the sound of infield chatter, and that incredible feel of the ball jumping off my bat. I play for sacrifice bunts and sacrifice flies because they've taught me what it means to be a teammate. Whether they're playing for their teammates, their classmates, or their community, high school student athletes in Wisconsin learn important lessons they'll use for the rest of their lives. Like respect for the rules, time management skills, and the value of hard work and sacrifice. I play high school softball for my friends who decorate my locker before every big game. That's who I play for. Play for keeps. Play for fun. Play on. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. This is Larry Fitzgerald with Game Day Goal. Tune in to WOCOFM 107.1 Fridays at 6 p.m. to hear me and Eric Nelson discuss the sports topics of the day. You're listening to your number one home for youth sports, WOCO Stereo FM, O'Connell, Wisconsin. All right, welcome back. 6-5 victory for your Bullfrogs. Walk-off win off the bat of Hill Alexander. Matt McCarthy gets the win. He came in the ninth through a score. It's ninth. He gets the win. It's his first, first win since the All-Star break for your Bullfrogs. Is it looking to create some momentum? And like Hill Alexander said, maybe the fog is time. So there was a seven to six. In the second half. So top performance for your Bullfrogs. Matt Hoig had two hits, had a double score to run. Clemens scored a couple runs for your Bullfrogs as well. Hill Alexander again coming off the bench, getting at base hit to win the ball game. Logan Elliott out of the bullpen, he was great. Three innings, no runs, one strikeout. Mahoney started, he went four, three in runs. 
Two walks, two strikeouts. He got the no decision as he didn't complete the five innings necessary for a starter to pick up a decision. But that back and forth game was fun to watch, folks. In the eighth, BJ Sable on the mound, usually automatic. Unfortunately, tonight wasn't the case. Gave up a two run home run. Two please. And then the ninth. Base loaded walk to Jonah Davis and Hill Alexander. Base hit. Tomorrow night, we're back in action. 7.05 to start. Duluth Huskies, join us on Northwoods League TV or on WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Superstars are in town, so come out to the stadium if you have an opportunity to do so. But this is a fun one, folks. Happy to get the chance to call this one. From Joe Spencer, our producer Colin, I am Brandon Morgan. Bullfrogs win 6-5. to five. North, uh, Bullfrogs baseball on Northwoods League TV and WOCO Stereo FM Sports Radio. Good night and until next time. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. That was Green Bay Bullfrogs baseball on WOCO Stereo FM. Today's sponsors were Nicolet National Bank, Blue Club Pizza, Edvest, and Triangle Distribution Miller. Catch all Bullfrogs action on your sports leading WOCO Stereo FM. Standing there in the out the shower Turn around showing me the thing of power I'm to the verse and I sense a problem And I'm thinking girl I can always solve them But she didn't want to hear it She said it's just a matter of fact they can feel it All along I was thinking it was gonna be her plus two Now they're looking like line of a joke's on you The next thing I'm feeling is her up and down I'm a girl that wants it